Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am engineer Abdul Basit and we are in uh, week number 8 of that hydraulics subject and this is lecture 15. So basically this is the first part of week number 8 lecture. The topic we are going to cover today is application of hydrostatics. Okay. So in previous tutorial we have discussed about the hydrostatic phenomena and uh, the distribution of uh, pressure or forces uh, along the length and along the depth of uh, uh, of a barrier uh, that may be a vertical wall constructed in, uh, uh, across the river to stop the flow of water or uh, to store the water and that pressures can also be calculated on the buns on the side buns of the of the reservoir okay so uh, basically whatever the pressures they are the forces that are exerted by the still water on the side buns or on the uh, on the uh, that perpendicular barrier that is constructed uh, in the form of dam or weirs. Okay, so that was an ideal situation. We were we are we are having uh, that uh, uh, are considering that situation where uh, the barrier is of uniform cross section along the length and of uniform cross section along the width as well. Okay, so uh, in that case, uh, uh, that was an ideal situation. But today we are going to discuss the the practical cases where uh, in dams we may have sluice gates, we may have log gates, masonry walls uh, that may be the barrier walls and the dams. Okay, so in dams and weirs and barrages or head regulators or under uh, 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 other types of the hydraulic structures, we may have these types of uh, um, components are the uh, elements of the of the uh, of that structure okay uh, which we which will face different types of pressures on it okay so uh, how will be the pressure distribution on these uh, structures and how we will find out the the location of the resultant pressure okay or uh, the point of application of the resultant pressure in that case so that is the the topic basically uh, coming towards that first situation that is the sluice gates so uh, let me tell you in uh, uh, in a simple way that a sluice gate is a gate that is constructed in the uh, lower half of the dam structure okay uh, where uh, uh, the silt is accumulated near to that sluice gate okay the situation is like a pond uh, pond pond shape uh, situation will occur okay mm, where the water will be completely in still with having minimum velocity or minimum interruption so the all the suspended particles will be settled down near uh, this position okay and uh, let me mark it as well <coughs> near this position uh, here okay uh, whenever you open this gate so what will happen the water will uh, rush towards this gate as the pressure of uh, uh, water will be more uh, uh, because uh, uh, a lot of water will be accumulated uh, above this water okay and that will also exert pressure on it so the water will uh, rush towards this opening and will tends to uh, to move out of the uh, of the barrier okay so that will take away these sluices as well with with it or uh, you can say that they are silt as well okay uh, on the down downstream side okay so uh, that is the whole phenomena now what will be the pressure distribution on this uh, uh, sluice gate okay uh, so simple at this end the pressure will be due to this water that is at uh, at this depth okay so simple that uh, w1h1 okay if this is water so w is 9.81 and a height uh, from here to here so this will be that pressure then the pressure distribution will be like this okay and uh, at this position the pressure or uh, the maximum pressure will be due to this height okay so uh, simply you can find out that WH2 okay and uh, the the area of this trapezoid now will be equal to the total pressure which is P1 okay and the location will be equal to the centroid of this trapezoid okay that will be the location of the pressure so if our downstream side do also have some water okay so then the top uh, top surface for that water will be like this okay and this pressure will be due to this height okay so only the w, uh, the h will be will be different okay and uh, here again this will be that uh, that situation okay so the pressure distribution will be like this okay and this will be that p2 
which will be again at the centroid of this trapezoid okay so the difference of the pressure will be p1 minus p2 so this is that simple situation okay now uh, all that phenomena is discussed over here as well okay uh, you can read it yourself then coming towards that simple numerical uh, a vertical sluice gate that is 3 meter uh, wide and 2.3 meter deep contains water on both of its sides okay on the upstream side the water is 5 meter deep and on the downstream side uh, it is 2 meter deep okay and uh, from the bottom of the sluice what is the resultant pressure on the gate so uh, the resultant pressure from the bottom is location from the bottom that should be determined okay <coughs> so uh, the simple thing is uh, 2 meter is the depth of water on the downstream side 5 meter is the depth of water on the upstream side and 2.5 meter is the depth okay where the top uh, hinge of the sluice gate is located okay so simple you can say that the pressure will be like here and this thing okay and in this situation the pressure will be like uh, if this is their surface of water okay so the pressure will be like uh, that's uh, small change over here and and this one this will be that situation so uh, area one area one is due to the, the uh, we know that the area of the sluice gate submerged on the upstream side is so this is that area okay as the sluice gate is 3 meter uh, and 2.5 meter deep okay so uh, multiplying it uh, you will get the area and then x1 uh, is actually the depth uh, of the centroid of that sluice gate okay center of gravity of the sluice gate so that is 2.5 is this depth and 2.5 is the remaining so 2.5 divided by 2 will be this location and adding it with 2.5 so this will be that situation okay <coughs> okay G, okay <coughs> Here the area 2 is actually the area uh, on the downstream side which is 2 meter multiplied by 3 meter is the length. Okay, So the center of gravity at that position will be uh, located at 2 divided by 2 and plus that uh, half. Okay, So 2 divided by 2 uh, and that is uh, the half of that uh, 2 meter deep. So this is 1 meter. And uh, uh, pressure due to water on the upstream side of the gate so that will be p1 into uh, omega a1 and uh, x1 okay and again p2 is this one so the difference of these two pressures will be like this so uh, uh, this is that simple situation where we are having the area as well and we are having the depth as well so that will give us the volume and volume multiplied by weight will uh, unit weight will be equal to the total weight of the water so that is the pressure as well okay so p1 minus p2 so here it is uh, that simple situation now coming towards that water pressure on the log gates okay so uh, it will be like uh, of the same situation that is uh, that, was, that was in the sluice gates case okay but the difference is here the wall is not uh, in the form of a straight line okay it is uh, 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 like inclined towards the direction of the flow okay so uh, that inclination or uh, uh, that uh, angular uh, angular uh, arrangement of this uh, these gates will give us a different situation so that should be treated in the form of angles and uh, right angle triangles okay so that is another uh, case we will have to discuss <coughs> Now, coming towards the uh, the the base base for the next lecture, uh, it will be like uh, we will discuss different dam structures. Okay, so here it is a simple wear structure. Okay, uh, where we are having this wall. This is the fish ladder. This is the divide wall. This is the scouring sluices. This is the uh, uh, guide banks. These are uh, these are the uh, the this is the upstream side of the river and these are the canal, canals taken out okay so this is that uh, situation 
where we have to uh, discuss the divide wall and its uh, operation is like to divide the slow water and the fast water okay uh, so the the slow water will be accumulated on the one side where uh, like on this side okay uh, where it will uh, be in the form of pond and the uh, that uh, silt will settle down over here and that will be then taken away by the uh, under sluices and this first ladder is for uh, the fishes which uh, use it during the uh, winter season and in summer season as well to move uh, upstream side and downstream side along the river flow or uh, against the river flow okay so that is uh, a fish ladder okay uh, once you are constructing the wall uh, um, across the river so the the fishes feels it difficult uh, to to move across these walls okay or it is almost impossible so you have to uh, provide some fish ladders in the in the in that barrier okay so that uh, uh, that that uh, uh, ocean life should be uh, secured okay so that's it uh, inshallah in next lecture uh, we will discuss about dams and turbines as well okay thank you very much Mm-hmm. <clears throat>